Hello guys, this is part two of my Brazilian butt lift journey. Oh my gosh, it's been an amazing journey so far. Um, Dr. Sergio Alvarez did his thing. Um, he did a wonderful job. I am very pleased with my results. Um, my surgery was like six in the morning. Um, prep time was about an hour. He didn't physically start to like after seven, but um, I got out about 10 and 10 in the morning. This is my third day um, at the recovery house. I'm with William Miranda um, at a new U recovery. Oh my gosh, him and his mother is awesome. I mean, great service, great care. Um, whew, it's just, for me, um, I've seen a lot of reviews, um, a lot of, you know, different experiences, but mine was a wonderful experience. My surgery went great. Um, I had a BBL. I had t 12 areas of lipo um, my upper and lower back my flanks my upper and lower stomach um that's what i had done and i got it you know transferred into my butt um the pain for me i can't even really say it was pain it's more like soreness for me um i didn't have no real excruciating pain just a lot of sore and stiffness that's it maybe on a scale for me seven to eight um what else can i say about it um the food that cuban food oh my goodness his mother can cook on my from scratch chicken noodle soup excellent um i have been how can i say it they've treated me so nice and um just very very nice um my husband is here also with me too um he's been much help too because this is a recovery house and they house up to five females um i've gotten to know the other girls um they're nice or whatever um we all are here for different procedures two of us girls are here for bbl one girl had a tummy tuck and another girl just had general you know liposuction on certain areas of her body but it has been a nice journey for me i am so glad that i've done this um i wouldn't change it I wouldn't change nothing I did. I'm glad that I stayed with Spectrum, even though I had to stalk them literally. I had to keep calling them. I had to keep changing doctors, but it was worth it in the end. I'm talking about Dr. Sergio did his thing, honey. My booty is, I got a Nicki Minaj booty and I didn't even want a Nicki Minaj booty. I asked for a heart-shaped booty, but hey, I trust his judgment. I'll post pictures up later of that i'm not going to show you that right now because i'm healing and my boobs are out you know and i don't want to be putting my boobs all up on you know video like that but once i heal you know more and get back home i'll you know do another video showing you guys um you know my results if you follow me already on um Instagram. I am going to post some pictures up on Instagram at um Nicole Boyd or NB Gorgeous. I'm a hairstylist, local stylist located in the Cleveland Shaker area. I have two pages, so you want to be careful of that. Um What else um did I want to talk about? I also want to talk about um the recovery house is beautiful I, like i said i'm gonna take some pictures of that 
and I will be posting those, you know, pictures up or do another video, however it goes. But I just had to show you guys, you know, just to let you know. This is just a little bit of something. It's still a little bit of soreness, but I'm covered up. You really can't see much, but I'm gonna come back with another video of that. This is day three. For me, like I said, um, I got a little bench, what you call it, a beach cheer? Where I got the booty part cut out. I couldn't keep sleeping on my stomach. That was getting so uncomfortable and it was hurting my neck. I don't really sleep on my stomach all like that, you know, unless I'm exhausted. Okay. And plus I'm at home in a pillow top tempur -pedic bed, which is totally different. I'm not saying that the beds at the recovery house are horrible because actually they're not. Um, actually it's comfortable. It's just that when you are went through surgery and you be stiff and sore some of you are going to be in pain everybody's pain tolerance is different but for me it i didn't feel like it wasn't no pain it was just it just felt like i worked out you know some people say a lot of people say it feels like you hit got hit by a mac truck yes and no but for me that's a no i don't feel like that i just feel you know just very sore but the soreness goes over, I mean, the, the soreness goes away day by day. Every day it gets better. Um, I still have some swelling and some redness in my butt area. But if you go on my Real Self page, um, I did post some pictures up um, on my Real Self page. And you can see um, how my body look. And that's without my faha i i had took some pictures um second day post-op pictures i mean not second day first day post-op pictures um after the surgery and i like my results um i'm very pleased and happy with everything every decision like i said i've been researching this for years and i am just glad that I'm in good hands. God got me. I'm prayed up, honey. My heart is with the Lord because I couldn't have made it through without praying, without being a faithful soldier um, and just eating healthy. Prior to this, I've always eaten healthy. You know, I always drink a lot of water. I never really was a pop or a juice drinker. If I do, it's juice like, you know, Maybe orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice. I had to cut back on the cranberry juice because whew, it was too much sugar in that. But it's just awesome. Like, my experience was very, very great. Um, I couldn't ask for a better doctor. I couldn't ask for a better caretaker. And I couldn't ask for a better man because I have all four of those the lord the doctor the caretaker and my man and they taking they all working together to make sure that i'm better and like i say it is a process every day you have to take it day by day okay day by day um I'm glad, I am happy, I am ecstatic with my results. The new people I have been meeting, um, we are, you know, helping each other, supporting each other. You know, William, Miranda, and his mother is awesome. Make sure you check them out at A New Recovery. Um, you can probably go on Snapchat and follow him. I mean, not Snapchat, I'm sorry, Instagram. But other than that, it has really been an amazing journey and I wouldn't change 
none of the choices I've made. I've done my research, and I tell anybody, do research before you jump into anything. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to follow people, because I notice I really don't have a huge following on real self. I'm not trying to, you know, do this for attention or to get people to... I just felt like, at the time, when I was looking into this surgery, it wasn't a lot of information out there, and I felt like people like me need to do a video you know on my experience so other girls can have something to look forward to if they ever decide to get a brazilian butt lift um i went to spectrum aesthetics which is like i want to say spectrum aesthetics and the recovery house is within 20 30 minutes of each other so it's an excellent choice if you choose it. Um, I'm just waiting on the lady right now to get me a massage. I had my first massage yesterday. Um, it was okay. It was a little, you know, painful, but at the same time, it felt good. I, I shouldn't say painful, but it was a little bit of tenderness or pain in it. Not like excruciating pain where you want to tell her to stop or anything, but it was a little uncomfortable. But it also felt good at the same time. I don't know how weird that sound. But, hey, everybody's different. I'm just telling you of my experience um, and what I went through and how it was for me. I can't speak for nobody else. I'm not trying to speak for anyone else. I'm just telling you what I experienced since I've been on this journey. Um, you got to have a lot of patience. You can't be too quick to give up on doctors and, you know, people, but you have to do what's best for you. And that's all I'm saying. And make sure you do a lot of extensive research before you jump into surgery. Well, I'm about to let you guys go and I will be back with another video, maybe sometime next week. Um, showing you how my butt look. <laughs> I got some meat stuck in my teeth. I need to get it out. Mm -hmm. I just had some Cuban chicken and some red beans and rice. I'm telling you, his mother can cook like from scratch, you know. And that's all I'm used to anyway is meals from scratch. Well... I'll show you guys my boppy pillow again. And then I have this butt pillow that I showed you. So, you know, make sure you get one of those. And I'm going to buy me that. They just came out with a, a bed, honey. I think I'm about to get that because when I get home, I ain't going to be able to sleep in my, you know, king size Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> uh bed i'm gonna have to get me another little bed and put it down on the first floor somewhere so i can have you know so i can be comfortable because one thing it's irritating when you can't get no rest and get no sleep the way you want to that is the most for me that's one of the most annoying things because i like to rest i like to sleep i like to sit down so with that being said y'all wish me luck pray for me um and I'll see you guys later. Bye.